I am here with my friend Zach. And Vina. How are you tonight? I'm doing good. It's the beginning of the Christmas season, so it's that joy of um, going out to uh, parties in the middle of the week and uh, definitely feeling like you're being a bad boy because you're having a drink on a Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. It's like a school night, right? You exactly. feel like you shouldn't be drinking? That's what the word I was going to say. It's a like school <laughs> night. I love it. But here we are. We're here, and school's out, so I feel like it's okay. But I also hear, rumor has it that a Christmas story is very special to you. Is that correct? It is. I got to play Scott Farkas in a Christmas story when I was 13 years old. So, so pretty much everyone around the world knows you because we all watch it a million times right. over the holidays. All these people love to hate me, which is it is awesome. <laughs> which is great for the holiday spirit. Yeah. I'm the beloved ass. <laughs> so the question is, do you watch a Christmas story like everybody else does to start off the holidays? I, I really don't. I really don't. Uh, one, it's also because I was 13 years old, so it's just like watching yourself get really old quickly. Like, it's just facing your own death coming up. It's a little intimidating. Um, I'm more of a Shawshank Redemption fan and uh, Die Hard. So is that what you watch over the holiday season? Yes. Okay, cool. I dig it. What else are you looking forward to? Uh, what else? I got a great 2017 coming up, a lot of projects. I got movies that I've made that have come out. Uh, one of them came out in May as I'm pimping. It's called Restoration. I wrote and directed it, and uh, it's actually gotten pretty good reviews. So Restoration on Redbox and on VOD and iTunes and all that type of stuff. That is amazing. Thank you. My first feature that I directed. I love that. So 2017, what else are you manifesting? Uh, I have another film that I produced is coming out, and I have a series that I'm making that's coming out, and um, uh, a lot of other movies that I wrote that are being made. So it sounds like a pretty awesome start to 2017. It's been pretty busy. Yeah, it's been pretty busy. The, to, uh, honestly, 2016 can kiss my ass. It was, it was the year of, hey, work harder, work harder, work harder, and uh, but now everything's coming to a head where all that work is starting to pop and turn into a cream-filled donut as opposed to the crap donut that it was before. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So we're also here at Music Save Lives today. How does music impact your life? Well, I'm not an audiophile. Like my older brother was a DJ. Um, and so I kind of stayed away from getting into music that much when I was a kid. But honestly, as a filmmaker, what's, what's interesting, and I don't know if most people know this, um, music and sound makes up probably 65, 70% of the film. Even though you shot the whole thing, it doesn't really live and breathe until the music comes behind it, until all the sounds are um, massaged and the foley is turned into a, a cohesive background of story. Um, and you know this, when you watch a film, it either gets you terrified or excited or touches your heart based upon how the music swells or what the chord progressions are playing. And it is one of those things that it changes the dynamic and it's amazing because music it's invisible yet it connects everybody in a moment where they feel that they're unified and then we don't focus on our separations you walk out of a concert out of a film and when that final music is playing you make eye contact with a stranger and uh, you know you've shared an experience and then all the barriers are down and that's that's kind of beautiful that's very beautiful well i appreciate your time enjoy tonight and we'll catch up with you very soon thank you so much Fina. Thank you.